I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on New SAT. We'll have some practice examples. In this video, we'll talk about increase by some percent. So the question here is, if each side of a cube is increased by 40%, then the surface area of the cube increases by how much? Now this type of question is very popular. Let us see the proper steps to do. That will be our first part. In the second part, we will see what kind of mistakes one can make, which should be avoided. And then at the end, we will learn the trick to do it in few seconds, right? That's the whole idea. So here is a cube for you. Normally the figures are given. And whenever we want percent increase, in that case, you should take length of the cube to be one unit to start with or you could take it 100 units. It all depends how difficult it is to work with decimals, right? Now, if you have time to prepare for SAT, I'll prefer to use one as your value, since one leads with smaller numbers, perfect. Okay, so when you say, if each side of the cube is increased by 40%, so when I say 40%, it really means 0 0.40. So increases by 0 0.40. So if I take start with one, that means if I say my initial value, that is the length in this case is one, and then increased value will be how much? So I'm using general terms here so that you could apply this strategy for any problem which is similar to this right so you get 1.40 right so that is the increased value now this increased value is of what is just of length so so let me write like this change in this is change in length so, right so slowly we'll introduce you with short methods of writing and understanding so that it becomes easier for us to communicate right now the thing which we need to find is actually increase in surface area, right? Surface area. Surface area, if you see, there are six surfaces for this particular cube, right? So what we can do here is we can say what is the original or initial surface area? Initial surface area is since there are six and each has side of one, right? So this is one, this is also one for us. So one times one is one. So each is one. So six times one. So that becomes your six units, right? Of course, this will be unit square, but we are not writing any units at present. Now, so what is the final surface area? Final surface area after it increases by 1.4 will be six surfaces and now the length of each is 1.4 so square of that. Correct. Now this question could be with or without calculator. So that reminds you that you should know squares of numbers, right? You should know squares of numbers. That is one thing very clear. Now what is the Percentage increase, let's write down, percentage increase will be how much? So percentage increase is always final minus initial divided by initial times 100, right? So that means you have to, in this particular case, Final is 6 times 1.4, so you get 6 times 1.4 square minus 6 times 1 divided by initial, which is 6 times 1. You see that. Now, in this particular expression, what do you notice? You notice that 6, 6, 6 cancel, right? So that really means we could have worked with just one surface and got the result. You get the idea, right? So you see all the three six cancel, right? So we are left with, so I'm purposely doing like this so that you can understand the shortcut method, right? So, so basically what we get here is 1.4 whole square minus one divided by one, 
which is basically difference of 1.4 square and 1, right? So basically, what you get here is, now let me write down what we really get. So we say that the percentage, and of course, to find percentage, I'll multiply by 100, right? So we will write in decimals, then multiply by 100. So percentage increase in surface area is basically equal to 1.4 square minus 1, right? Divided by 1, so that is it. And if you have to really find percentage, you have to times it with 100 to match your answer. Right? <clears throat> now, what is 1.4 square? Well, if you know it, you can easily write down the answer and, uh, and get the result, right? So it is, as you know, is 196. So <clears throat> we could write this as 1.96. Since we are multiplying by 0.4, 1.4, 1.4, we need two decimal places. Is that clear? Minus 1, now times 100 to get the percentage, right? So clearly it is 0.961 minus this 0 0.96 times 100. Correct? Which gives you the result as 96%. So the answer B is the right answer. <clears throat> now from all these steps you learn few things. One, you could have worked with one surface. <clears throat> Just this one, right? Just one surface. Any one you need. Since all the surfaces 6 and 6, they cancel. Second, you need not really multiply by 100. You understand that percent is multiplying by 100. So need not do this, right? Once you get 0.96, it is as good as 96%. So correlate points, decimals with percent, right? That is another important thing. Now, some of you must have got a wrong answer. And let me see what is the mistake which people did. So what is the wrong answer? Wrong answer was, that when you say 40%, in that case, what some persons will do, is they will say, well, it increases to 1.4, so the change is 40%. So 40% means 0 0.4, and surface area means square. Do you see that? So in that case, they will get a result, which is 0 0.16, or when you multiply by 100, around, right? So, so that is 40%, right? And they will get 16%. Well, in this case, we are not given you any answer, which is 16%, but there could be an option saying 16%, right? So you may get a wrong answer, avoid this. Now, what we need to think about is, it makes sense that we increase the percent by 40%, why the answer is 96? So, so the question now here is, why? 96%. That is a major question to understand so that you never get it wrong, right? The reason is very simple that in this particular case, it is increased by 40%. That means if it was 1, it became 1 plus 0 0.4. And when we are talking about area, we square it. So this is the area. Is that okay? Now let's talk about only one surface. Let's talk about only one surface, right? So this is the shortcut. So our area actually increases by this. So I hope you remember what is A plus B whole square equals to. Well, A plus B whole square is A square plus 2AB plus B square. Now, clearly, the increase from A square to A plus B whole square is this portion. 2ab plus b square. You get the idea? So what is the increase here? So if you expand this, if you expand this, then you find the change in area, change in area. That is to say, area minus original area, right? So that is the change in area, right? Original area, which is 1, right? The original area was 1. In that case, you will see this expansion is 1 square plus 2 times 1 times 0 0.4 plus 
0 0.4 square, right? This is the first part, minus 1. You get the idea. So, therefore, this 1 square and this 1 square cancel. We are left with a term which is 2 times 1 and 0.4 plus 0.4 square. Now, 2 times 0.4 is 0 0.8 and this is 0 0.16 and when you add them, you get 0 0.96. So, therefore, you get 96% as your correct answer. Do you understand and appreciate this step? So, now, our shortcut here will be that we will assume unitarian. So, we'll start with Unitarian. Correct? And whenever we want to find increase in area, we'll actually use this increase, which is 0 0.4 square plus 2 times this number to get our answer. Right? So if I change the equation, let us say, if we have a new question saying that the increase is, let us say, let me write down a new question for you. If it is 60% increase, then what should be the answer? That is your new question. So you can now pause the video and answer this question that if we increase each side of a square by 60%, then what should be the change in surface area for the cube? Perfect. So using our method, you find that if it was 60%, then the answer will be, answer will be 0 0.6 square plus 2 times 0 0.6, which gives you 0 0.36 plus 1.2, right? So that is your answer, right? So it is basically 1.56 or 156%. So that means we will get an answer which is 156% for 60% increase. Does it make sense to you, right? So that is how in a second you can answer this particular question, right? Without calculator also. We are not working with 1.6. We are work working with just 0.6 in our case. I hope that makes sense. So that is the strategy for this particular type of question. I hope you understand and appreciate it. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.